Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome to Age of Conan Unchained. Um, this actually came up in my uh, Steam library the other day, which coincidentally was shortly after I actually sat down and watched Conan the Barbarian. And um, I actually purchased this game way back in uh, uh, 2008. Actually, I bought this game when it first... I forgot about her, when it was first released. And up to that point I had been playing, uh, World of Warcraft was actually the game I was playing at the time. You know, she's a bit wordy, hang on. Face so much ugliness. Yeah, I'll go with friendly. Free me, I beg you. Those brutes set upon me in a park less than an hour ago and ran me down as I fled. Animals. I was a captive of the tyrant of Tortage. Though I managed to flee after three days in the less than tender care of his red hunt soldiers. You know, I didn't I actually ask for your life story. The city until they forgot about me. But I was chased down by the scavenger and his raiders. The scavenger has the key. He's a petty raider captain from Tortage. He and his small gang are nearby. Slit that bastard's throat and, and loot his corpse. Please, don't leave me here. I've tried that in the past. There's no way to get past you, unless I release you. Please, so hurry. I'm He's on the beach, peeking through the bone. I'll never forget your help. Yes, there's no way around her. Oh, wait. Yes, sir. No, there isn't. Nope. Nope. Uh, that's one of those invisible walls. Damn. Oh well. Yes, yes, yes. I guess we have to go and uh, smash some heads. So, yeah, uh, I have been playing um, <coughs> World of Warcraft up to this point. And this came along and the combat system, as well as being rather bloody, was kind of different. Uh, you had to adjust. I mean, you couldn't just run around and mash the one key like you could in the early levels of World of Warcraft. Uh, in this one, I mean, technically you could. You could just mash one button. But it takes a lot longer. Uh, you find that your opponents have shields or, you know, defensive markers. This is where they're defending them. Oh, crap. Three of them. See those brackets around her? That's where she's defending herself. So I need to attack from this side to do the most damage. <laughs> and as you get further into the game, it gets more complicated. Um, oh, I can be slightly less naked now. With a pair of boots. Yes, that looks exceptionally fashionable. Actually, I have the key so I can go back and free that irritating woman now. Um, What was I saying? Well, the, uh, as you get further up, the combat changes as you get uh, into the higher levels. And I will thank the yes, 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 yes. <sighs> get out the way, woman. You're making me a sandwich or something. <coughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding before you get too irritated with that. <laughs> Oh, in case you're wondering why I'm playing a female, I, I don't understand why people don't. I mean, you know, women can be ass kickers as well. See, now if I attack him from this side, I'll do more damage than I would if I attack him here or here. with my blunt ore. Hmm. Three of them. You know, you could help. Okay, we'll get rid of this guy first. Ow! 
Bash the kitty! Bash the kitty! Smash his head in. Why is he wearing a bag anyway? I don't understand why he's wearing a bag. Ooh, a club. Oh yes. Could do more damage with this. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, a box. What's in the box? Not a lot. So it's been a while since I played this. Not a great deal has changed by the look of it. I mean, some things have, some things haven't. This is actually one of the first games I ever purchased that was in DirectX 10. <laughs> oh god, what a failure that was. Come on. Come on. Oh great, the boss is now attacking first. for that. Okay, is there actually anything over here? I think that was all just a mo monumental waste of time. Yes, it was. Wait, what? why is there a dead gorilla here? What are you guys doing with gorillas? Yeah, I remember trying to run this thing in DirectX 10 and it was just like god awful. <laughs> You know, I just beat your friend's head in and you just... I guess he was whizzing, whizzing huh? Went out for the for a cookie behind the bush. Haha! -ha. Oh, look, more shoes. And a tooth. Daily challenge completed. Ooh, that's new. Ooh, look, a belt. Don't think it actually does anything. And a tooth. And another tooth. You know, the dental levels on this remote island are actually pretty good. You wouldn't imagine there would be a, a qualified <coughs> dentist around. Yeah, one of the good things about uh, the, the two-handed weapons is they often hit more than one uh, target at a time. What What is this? This is a... This is... A corpse. He's had pieces of him removed. Oh, ooh. And placed in a bucket. Some kind of a sacrifice to... Whatever this is? What is this? It's... Clearly it's something that likes meat. Raw meat, in fact. Look! Poachers! I like killing poachers. Oh no! I'm being shot at, too. Well... Yeah, okay, let's... Wow! All these pirates seem to have dental problems. Well, and these poachers, rather. Ooh! And hand-painted a bandana. Okay, that doesn't do anything for me. Actually, none of this does. Oh, this gives me some armor. I guess I can put this on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now I'm feeling it. Yep. Got the earring. Got the bandana. Oh, yeah. Got the huge club. A marksman, huh? Which one of you is Mark? Oh. I don't know. 
whichever one of you is Mark, your guy just let you down horribly. See, I'm just hitting him from the top and the right side, because he's got his left side very, very well protected. Oh, that thing's useless to me. Ooh, look, poachers. What's going on here? And I've picked. Let's go deal with this guy. Hi! <laughs> you know, honestly, you really could, like, pick up a stick or something and start hitting them. They, you know, when they have their back to you, it would be a great deal of help. That was a rather unpleasant. Your turn. Ooh, shoes and a nose bone. And why am I why am I picking up a nose bone? A used nose bone as well. Sorry, but yeah, that doesn't tell me with Mmm, a used nose bone. Yummy. You know, you're really not being much help at all. Hmm. We'll get the archer first. Yay. Going yay, you think that's helping? That's not helping, that's just... God, women. Who oh. before Sadur? This guy. I'd forgotten about this guy. Uh -huh. The gods smile upon Sadur this day. I thought I was the only one to survive. But it seems some of my property was spared. Come, I'll clamp irons around your throat and put you to work. Slave, that's my intent, Don't think that's gonna slave. Happen. The gate here is locked, and a creature, some kind of beast, it guards the key in the ruins nearby. It guards the key in the ruins nearby. Swift. While the demon feasts upon your flesh, I'll take the key and make my way to the city. Hmm, my journey joining. Uh... So, I'm going to be the decoy, and while it's eating me alive, you get the key and run away. I don't think that's going to happen somehow, buddy. You would die if you tried to taste that pleasure. Sadur is a practical man. He will make you a promise. If you survive the demon's feast, he will take you to Tortage and sell you there. Is that not fair, slave? Brave words from one who has worn a slave's chains. The shame of servitude finally overcame your cowardice, did it? But tell me, 
Is it not better to live as a slave? Fight me, and your bones will bleach under the Bratian sun. Kneel now, and I will forget this play acting of you possessing a back. I kneel to no man. You knelt many times, dragging the oar at my order, obeying whenever commanded. But though you bear the mark, and are worth much to me, Slave Master Ulrich despises troublesome property. You will not sacrifice yourself to the demon? Time to die, slave. The Great Serpent shall judge your worthless soul in the afterlife. Yep, yeah, I don't believe in the Great Serpent, so I'm just going to have to smash your head in. Oh, you appear to have fallen down, fat boy. Come here. Say this, but uh, you're done. Now, please notice the key. Ooh, I can be slightly less naked and mildly more fashionable. Look at that. <laughs> See now, originally when I first had this game, when you get to this point you have to fight your way past him, find out the gate is locked, and then you had to go off down this way, fight your way past all these people, and deal with that bat creature, the demon that he was talking about. Uh, it looks like you don't have to do that anymore. Now you smash his face in, he falls down and becomes a picked and drops the key. So we don't have to go down and do that bit. Interesting. Now we just have to fight our way past King Kong. Or King Kong's miniature offspring. Yes! What has he given me? He's given me bananas. Lovely. Well, you know, who doesn't like bananas? <laughs> yes. Okay, next one. Hey, get off the grave marker. <laughs> the grave marker. Lovely. So, moving on. Now, oh, another one. <laughs> Beating him while he's down. See, I feel a little dirty for that. Hey, got a banana out of it, though. Two of them. All right. Well, whatever. Three. Level five. Now, in case you're wondering why I haven't run across any other players, is because right now this is in a uh, uh, standalone area. Um, you can enter zones where you are the only player. He dodged me! Bastard. Uh, most of them are uh, like a story zone. What have we got? We've got... Wow, we've got a banana and a 
dumb. That's that's fantastic. Uh, Lovely. Why? Why? Oh, I'm okay. Poisoned. I have been poisoned. Hi. Why would you attack me? I've just beaten the hell out of your boss. Oh, wait. What are these anyway? Censuring strike. Mighty blow intimidates the victim, deterring them from switching targets and attacking the bear shaman. Ooh, okay. That seems like could be a good one there. And there, okay, that will be good for dungeon running. Um, yeah, some pearls and some potions. Lovely. Well, I think I'm going to call that it for the minute. Um, well, actually, that is it for the minute, to be honest. Beyond here is the... Uh, well, not the main game, but the rest of the intro. Oh, God, she's got stuff to say. <sighs> I'm not your friend. At least this one seems to be unlocked. On the other side, the city awaits us. We're close enough for me to make my own way from here. Uh, I've little coin or anything of value to reward you for the help you've given me, but uh, speak with me inside the city and I'm sure we can come to some kind of arrangement. Hmm. Some kind of an arrangement. A sandwich, maybe? Just remember to say nothing about escaping your captors or killing any slavers. You crush picked heads with great skill, but stay out of trouble in the city if you want to see another sunrise. Hmm. Trouble is my middle name. We'll meet again. Oh god, I hope not. So, um, when I first got this game, it was, uh, you know, you purchase the game, you get a month free, and then it was a subscription. Now it's gone free to play. As you can tell, um, it's got this glowing thing up here to draw your attention to it. An item shop in which you can purchase all kinds of stuff. Just like you can in most uh, free to play games that have a... what was that? Huh, intriguing. But you can, uh, you can uh, buy all kinds of different stuff. One of the really cool things is you can buy the things individually, so if you want you know, you want one other uh, character slot, because you can get the free game you can have two, so you could purchase one more and of course, you know, your inventory bags, blah, 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 blah. Much like almost every other free-to-play game out there. Uh, this one's actually made by the same people that did um, Secret World, which I've also played. And is a bit of a giggle. Um, but this one's a lot more entertaining, I, I, I feel. Um, oh, hello. Someone's got their undead army out. <laughs> These ugly things here. Look at them. <laughs> like Justin Bieber fans. Um, but yeah, I mean that's uh, that's Age of Conan. It's free to play. It's a bit of a giggle, um, and there's uh, some DLC for it as well now. So, from what I understand, the game is uh, still going. It's got two main servers, well, the PVE and the PVP, but it also has uh, shards. Um, so you can transport between shard... Actually, I've never figured out how to... Oh, there you go. Instances. So you can switch instances within areas. Um, it's like... Uh, I'm trying to think of something else that's similar. Uh, Rift has a similar thing. Uh, you know, you can have thousands of people in... Well, not thousands, but you, know, you can have a couple of hundred people in one area, but they're all on different shards. So you don't always see everybody. Uh, anyway, that was a really bad explanation, I'm sorry. Like I said, 
I am now in the, uh, no, uh, I'm now in the area where, uh, you know, you meet other people, as you can, what the hell? I thought I was naked. Um, yeah, so this is in the uh, environment where you come across everybody else. Uh, once you get into the city, uh, you get to the chance where you can actually switch to your, uh, it's called night time, I guess, is when it separates you from the rest of the world and you have your own little area to play in and you don't have to worry about other players. So you can follow your personal storyline, of which there is one, on your own, in your own time, at your own pace. It's good fun. It's good fun. But anyway, I'm going to call that it for the moment here. I will see you guys and girls anon.